Hi guys, welcome to our channel Fast Cabling. Today we receive a case from one of our customers. Let's see what happened to him. Our customers own a hotel in Jamaica and he wants to monitor the hotel in another country where he's located. Jamaica is located in the Caribbean Sea. The climate is generally tropical with high humidity. The average temperature is around 35 degrees, so it's pretty hot. Our customers has a Ubiquiti UDM Pro SE with 10 gigabit and 1 gigabit fiber link. He wants to run three Ubiquiti G4 bullet cameras with 802.3 AF standard and a Ubiquiti outdoor Wi-Fi. And since the whole setup is going to be outdoor, there should not be any small insects like ants or any water to get into the outdoor enclosure. Therefore, he requests to have a very reliable hardware supplier for his outdoor CCTV because reliability is the most important thing to this setup. So he reached out to us and wants some help on how to build the reliable outdoor CCTV system with an outdoor PoE switch with SFP slot. So today in this video, I'm going to show you the whole setup and explain the details along the way. And if you need help for your diagram design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. Send us a diagram or some simple drawing, and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you for completely free of charge. So outdoor CCTV system can remotely monitor and ensure your business security against the potential safety hazard. Especially it is important for a customer who lives in another country but his business is in Jamaica. So he needs to improve the reliability of his outdoor security system and reduce the maintenance so he don't have to walk, travel back and forth all the time. Now, the key feature of having a high reliability outdoor system is the device should be completely waterproof and can withstand in extreme temperature. So let's move to the demonstration board and I'll show you what we need today. So here we are in front of the demonstration board and behind me is the whole setup. Now let's pretend this is the control room of our customer's business. And over this side, I have the fiber optic cable for the whole connection. And this is the outdoor PoE switch with two gigabit SFP slot. And I'm going to connect it with the IP camera and SS point. Now, since I don't have any ubiquity equipment, that's why I use other device to replace them. Now let's do the connection together from the beginning. So in the control room, I have the router for main network. This is the switch that I'm using. It's similar to the Ubiquiti switch because it also have a PoE port and two SFP slot. This is the NVR and the monitor for later use after I connect it with the IP camera. So I'm going to do the connection first with the router. I'm going to connect the router with the NVR for image later and I'm going to connect my router with the switch. We just simply plug everything in using the short patch cord. Now this is a F SFP transceiver. We need this but this is normally sold separately because it has to determine what kind of connector that you use because this is what you use to connect with the fiber optic cable. So I'm going to install this into the SFP slot. And this is the fiber optic cable that I'm using. It has two strings, so I'm just go ahead and pick string B to connect with the transceiver. All right, so over this side, everything is all set. Now let's come over here. This is a 100 meter fiber optic cable. It provides high speed, low latency data transmission. 
Now, it has no electrical surge because due to the material. The fiber optic cable is made of high quality of glass and transmits the data through light signal. So there are no electrical signal in the way. That's why you don't have any electrical surge. Now, this is the outdoor PoE switch that we're using. You can see it already has the power supply set built into the switch, so it doesn't require any external. If you have a switch that doesn't have a power set built in, you will need another power supply set like this. Now, let me show you something really cool. This is a waterproof enclosure. And over here, we have a dissipation design, which allows the heat to go out of the enclosure, but nothing can get in. Even the moisture will not get into the enclosure. So it's maintaining IP67 waterproof. And I'm going to do the connection now. And here is the SFP slot. I'm going to insert to the SFP port. And here is the string. And remember, string B is what we are going to use. And I'm going to just connect with two cable because I'm going to connect with two devices. There you go. And here is the power supply. I'm going to plug it in to have power. You can see the lights are getting on. So this size is already done. Now I'm going to connect this with our SS point here. This is a TP-Link SS point. All right, I'm just going to plug it in here. And this is the camera that we are using. I'm going to plug it with the camera. All right, I can hear the sound. So it should be powered up and getting image shortly. So we can see the whole setup is done. Now I, I'm just waiting for the image to come up. You can see this is okay. It takes time to zoom in, but it is a live video. So the setup is done. And since our customer has to install most of his equipment outdoor, that's why he needs to select appropriate CCTV network equipment for his site. That's why he has to use the outdoor PoE switch, outdoor SS point, and outdoor cameras. Now also, he has to be careful with the installation. Not using your hand to fasten up the gland, but use a wrench. When you're using a wrench to fasten it tight, it will tighten up the rubber inside so it can prevent water, moisture, or small ants go into the enclosure through the cable. And also, when you're doing your business setup, always leave room for future proving. You should have additional port on the switch so you can add devices later on. Now, thank you so much for watching us today. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel and share it with the friend who can benefit from it. Now, I'll see you next time.